Welcome to my classroom. In this video, I'll talk about the normal form of a straight line and thus devise some useful formulas for finding the distance from a point to a line. This is an enrichment topic for the studies of equations of straight line in Form 4. Two points determine a straight line. Under rectangular coordinate system, a point refers to an order pair x, y, which are called the coordinates of the point. The equation of a straight line is a relation of the x, y coordinates of any point on the line. Suppose we are given two points, a, x1, y1, and b, x2, y2 on the line. Let p, x, y be a point on the line. Note that p is an arbitrary point on the line. We look for an equation showing the relation of x and y. Since A, B, and P are on the same line, we say that they are collinear. That means the slopes formed by any two points are equal. Let us consider the slope formed by AP, which is, and the slope formed by AB, which is, equating these two ra ratios we have. This is an equation in XY. The way of getting the equation is called two-point form. Simplify this equation. We have ax plus by plus c equals zero. This presentation clearly shows that the equation is a linear equation in x and y. This equation is called the general form. So we see that two-point form is a way of getting the equation of a straight line when two points on the line are given. And the general form is the way of presenting the equation of the straight line in a neat way. Let us consider two special points of the line lying on the two axes. Let the point on the x-axis be A0 and 0B on the y-axis. That is, the x-intercept is A and the y-intercept is B. Note that the intercepts are numbers, not all the pairs. Apply the two-point form on these two points, we have. Simplify, we have. Further simplify, we have x over a plus y over b equals 1, a very neat form. x over x-intercepts plus y over y-intercept equals 1. We call this form the intercept form. That is, when we are given two intercepts, we can get the equation of the line in the intercept form directly. For example, x-intercept equals 3 and y-intercept equals 4. The equation of the line is x over 3 plus y over 4 equals 1. Of course, we can turn it into the general form like 4x plus 3y minus 12 equals 0. But the intercept form helps us to draw the line in a very easy manner. This time, we are given a point A, x1, y1, and the slope M. Note that the slope M may convert to an angle feeder such that M equals to tangent feeder. This angle feeder is the angle of inclination of the line. Let P, x, y be an arbitrary point on the line. Then the slope formed by PA, which is, is equals to M. Thus, we have the equation. This equation obtained by a given point and a given slope is called the point slope form of the line. Of course, we can also simplify the equation into the general form. Now, consider a special case. The given point 0z lies on the y-axis and the slope is m. That is, the y-intercept is c, and the slope is m. Apply the point slope form we have. Simplify, we have y equals to mx plus c. By the given slope m and the y-intercept c, the equation of the line can be obtained directly. This form is called slope-intercept form. This form is a well-accepted form, we don't need to convert it back to the general form unless otherwise specified. Again, this form helps us to sketch the graph of the line. For example, 
Given the slope equals 1 and the y-intercept is 2, we mark the point 0, 2 and convert the slope 1 into the angle of inclination 45 degrees. Then the, the line can be sketched easily. And so is the equation y equals to x plus 2. Normal form like two-point form is a way to define a straight line. A normal to the line refers to a perpendicular to the line. Here, to make my presentation a bit easy, I put down a straight line first. We consider the normal drawn from the origin to the line. To define the normal, we need two measures, the length and the direction. The length of the normal is given by the perpendicular distance from the origin to the line. We denote the length by P. The direction of the normal is given by the angle measured from the positive x-axis to the normal in anti right direction. We denote the angle by theta. A straight line can be uniquely determined by P and theta. We are going to see how the equation of the line is obtained by the given values p and theta. Here, theta help us to get the slope of the line. By exterior angle of triangle, we have the slope of the line equals tangent theta plus 90 degrees, that is, negative 1 over tangent theta. Also, p and theta together help us to get the point on the line. The foot of perpendicular is given by P cosine theta, P sine theta. Now we have the slope and the point on the line. By point slope form, we have the equation of the line. Simplify the equation we have. That is, x cosine theta plus y sine theta minus P equals 0. This is the normal form of a straight line. Suppose the length of the normal is 1 and the angle of the normal is 30 degrees. The equation of the line can be obtained by the normal form directly, which is x cosine 30 degrees plus y side 30 degrees minus 1 equals 0. Or we can change it into normal form, root 3x plus y minus 2 equals 0. In the previous example, we see that the normal form of a straight line can be converted into the general form by simple simplification. But if we are given the equation of a straight line in general form, can we convert it into the normal form so that we can get the information of the normal, say p, the length of the normal, or the distance from the origin to the line? The answer is positive. Let us see how to do it. Suppose the general form of the straight line is given, which is ax plus by plus c equals 0. We want to change it into a normal form like x cosine theta plus y sine theta minus p equals 0. There are two conditions need to be satisfied. First, the coefficient of x is cosine theta and the coefficient of y is sine theta. Both values are lying between negative 1 and 1. And these two numbers satisfy the identity that sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals 1. Second, the constant term must be non-positive because p is greater than or equal to 0. So negative p should be less than or equal to 0. To achieve this, we first derive the equation by square root of a squared plus b squared. So that, so the first condition is satisfied. For the second condition, we adjust the sign with the plus or minus. Here, the side of the square root of the denominator is opposite to the sign of C because the value of P is positive. When C is zero, that is, the line passes through the origin, P is zero then the sign is same as b. For sine theta is always positive for acute or obtuse angle. Consider an example. Given the general form of equation of a straight line is 3x plus 4y plus 5 equals 0, the normal form of the equation is, that is, thus p is 1 
and tangent theta is negative 4 over negative 3. So theta is an angle in the third quadrant. From calculator, we have theta equals to 233 degrees. From the normal form of a line, we can find the distance from the origin to the line directly, which is the value of p. We would like to derive a general formula for finding the distance from a point p x not y not to a line l a x plus b y plus c equals zero. The way of doing this is that, consider the normal form of l, which is. Let d denote the distance from the point P to the line L. Consider the line L prime passing through the point P and parallel to the line L in normal form, which is now the point P lies on L prime, so that the coordinates x not y not satisfy the equation. Thus, we have we arrange the terms and we get d. So d is given by substituting the coordinates x0, y0 into the normal form of L. In other words, we have d. As d must be non-negative, we take the absolute value instead of the plus or minus sign. Let us consider another situation where the point x0, y0 is here. According to the previous discussion, we construct the line L prime parallel to L. This time, the angle of the normal is theta plus 180 degrees, and the length of the normal is d minus p. So the normal form of the line L dash is this. Rearrange the terms and substitute the point. Taking the absolute value, d is still given by the same expression. This is the formula giving the distance from point x0, y0 to the line ax plus p, by plus c equals 0. We can check this formula with an example. Say, the distance from the point 3, 4 to the line x minus 2y plus 3 equals 0. After substituting and simplifying, we have 2 over root 5. The distance between two lines is the smallest distance between two points, each taken from the given lines. Thus, for two intersecting lines, the distance between them must be zero. For two parallel lines, the smallest distance between the lines is the perpendicular distance of a point taken from one line to the other line. So, we can use the previous distance formula to find the distance between two parallel lines and turn it into another formula. Let the two parallel lines be L1 and L2. As the lines are parallel, they share the same coefficients of x and y, and the only difference is the constant terms. Consider the normal form. Then the distance between the two lines is given by d, p2 minus p1 or we take the absolute value of p1 minus p2, the same. Convert the lines into the normal form, we can see how d is obtained in terms of a, b, and c1, c2. Note that in the figure, the distance d is given by p2 minus p1. If the lines are lying in different quadrants, the distance d will be given by p2 plus p1. Yet, the formula for d is still true. I leave this part for you to check. Here is an example showing how the distance between two parallel lines is calculated by the formula. I hoped the normal form and the distance formulas are clear to you. You can compare the work of finding the distance from a point to a line or the distance between two parallel lines with and without the formulas, so that you will see how nice the formulas are. Another remark I would like to place here is that the distance formula can be elegantly extended from 2D to 3D. Here is the formula. You may derive this formula on your own by using vectors. Hope you enjoy.